What's up, everybody? It's the 23rd. It's not. It's the 3rd. It's the 3rd. How does my mind do this thing? It's okay. I'm in touch right now. I'm on... Listen, when you guys see me all day, I hover on the edge of conscious subconscious. Okay? That's what the fuck is going on. I have one foot in the subconscious, one foot in the conscious. And that's why the communication is so deadly. Who am I? I'm AZ motherfucking D of IMC Nation. This is my video blog. Today is the 3rd of August, 2021. This is for adults. If you're watching this channel right now, this is an adult channel. No kids. Listen, little kid, turn it off. <clears throat> Get your kids out of here. Next, um, you're responsible for your own condition while watching this, all right? Uh, these are the ideas of IMC Nation and AZD, myself, and I'm speaking to a very particular group of people. So this video blog is for my class. I have a class called the Brotherhood of the Beast, and this is the, the lesson for the class that I go over later. So that's what you're seeing. If it doesn't make sense to you, it will still be powerful no matter what, but it's in context. You understand? There's people that are watching this video blog that are going to class later, all right? As of today, 190 of those people, all right? So they're gonna be going through this and we're gonna be talking about this, these concepts later. Those people are known as the IMC warrior fighting monks, the IMC nation um, beasts, warrior beasts, the tribal leaders and the tribal council. This is for them. Now let's get going. I'm AZD, Arach Zabar, motherfucking Diva Zar. This is... Under the Wings of the Dragon, a book I wrote when I was 23. I'm 44. Oh, God, I do that so good. I just told you so much in that fucking minute and a half. <clears throat> but it wasn't boring at all. Now we're getting to the later part of the book. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll see. If you were admiring so far these video blogs in the last couple of days, or <clears throat> last week, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> it's been like this for days now. I almost died of it. <laughs> Um, then I think you're, you're about to have a whole different uh, taste of my, my mind here. Let's go. Enjoy. Daily rule. Remember, I was 23. Remember, I'm 44. Remember, right now, if I say IMC Fighting Monk, right now, you would know what it is because of one year ago in COVID, I made the world know what it was. Do you remember that? Do you remember? One year, one year ago, the world now knows when I say IMC Fighting Monk. It's not what is that. Now, let's just see how long ago I said those words. Daily rule. Daily rule. Here is my ritual at 23, written in poem. <clears throat> Let me tell you about a rule that I live. Oh, I'm about to make some vaginas explode. You'd have to be a woman that knows me you, to, to, to get what the fuck's about to happen now. You thought you knew me. Let me tell you about a rule that I live with night and day. An IMC fighting monk. I live the total spirit of play. That's where the words were. I was this guy 23 years ago. An IMC fighting monk. There's the words. I didn't go back in time and write it and come forward. <laughs> Although I do that. Let me tell you about a rule that I live with night and day. An IMC fighting monk. I live the total spirit of play. No fear of the opposition. Everybody's seeing that now. you all seeing it. I am absolutely fearless when it comes to opposition. That's when I am fearless. That's when I am the most courageous is when somebody wants to go after me in anything, motherfucker. That's when you see me. No fear of the opposition. I just laugh in their faces. The Joker baby was always there. Try to capture me. I'm like the wind leaving no traces. I'm not just me. I'm everywhere. The agreements of this universe, I stand above it all. How can you push me over the edge when I'm already so willing to fall? <laughs> God, I love me. Following my teacher's teachings, I surpass the very best. 23 years old, I knew. It's not that I knew, I've been doing it. I've been doing it in secret. You have memes, build in secret. Then turn to show it. Look at my life, look at my friends, look at who I am, look at my teachers, they're all behind me. At 23, I was telling you, following my teacher's teachings, this is a boy at 23 who understands the value of having a teacher and following those teachings. You don't hear 23 olds talk like this, unless they're my students. <clears throat> and that's why, that's why, because they come from the same tradition me. Following my teacher's teachings, I surpass the very best. I go past them. Not interested in your opinion. 
Just put me to the test. Be my guest. Sounds like I wrote this today, huh? Sooner or later, you'll begin to realize that you have the wrong target. Now you're creating your own demise. Which means destruction. Look at my eyes. I keep telling you the eyes don't lie. The eyes don't lie, Chico. Look at my eyes. Look at my size. I'm not talking about size of my dick, although that would do it too. I'm talking about my size spiritually. Look at my eyes. Look at my size. Now begin to apologize. On this 3rd of August, 2021. August. Don't take it so serious. Just stop living in the past. There's one thing that I know for certain that this too shall come to pass. Shit. And it did. Let's see what those blips and bloops were. This is stats. Let's see together how many people are on the Brotherhood or Lions Den or what we're calling it right now. Let me see what he says. Mm, I'm not clicking it, but sometimes I can see it. Total for Brotherhood, blah, blah, blah. There you are. You heard it from the man. Total. Brotherhood of the Beast signups are at 200. We reached the 200 mark. Fire. That is fire. Congrats. There is no goal. We cannot hit. I've proven it. Always. And we will continue. It's time to celebrate. This is at 10 a.m. There you go. He was the man. Congratulations. Wow. 200 people now on a program that was a thought some time ago. An idea <clears throat> that's going to change the world. 100 more. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. It's funny that it changed on 200. Became the brother of the wolf. 100 left. I wonder what it's going to turn into at 300. <clears throat> okay, let's go over this. We have some time. Although I'm moving inc incredibly slow, I'm still moving faster than the time. So it works good. Mm. Let me tell you about a rule that I live with night and day. An IMC fighting monk. I live the total spirit of play. Total spirit of play. Okay, what does that mean? All right, I'm teaching you guys today. Here we go. No matter what I do, no matter how serious I get, I get pretty fucking serious about shit. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, I'm so serious about my life, it's fucking crazy. I'm so serious about my goals. I'm so serious about my balls. Any bitch ever fucking say one word to me about where I've been, who I'm going to be with, why I'm with someone more or less. That is that is war. That is from zero to war. Zero to war. There's I don't have a middle range. You don't talk about my dick. You don't talk about my balls unless it's in relation to your ass. You don't talk about my shit. Ever. Don't be fucking disgusting. Don't talk about my body parts unless it's in relation to you. It's none of your fucking business. That's the truth. Nobody, nobody is to hear as a man to tell you as an INC nation, warrior fighting monk, tribal motherfucking leader, what the fuck you're going to do with your fucking dick. And if I ask you to come to a fucking strip club and you have to work this shit out in your head, how you're going to tell your wife, daughter, husband, whatever the fuck you got going on in your life, you still don't have your fucking balls. So you don't get to come to the fucking strip club. Okay, you little boy need to stay home and not get fucking grounded. Now, if any man is watching my video right now and you're in a fucking relationship, you don't know who the fuck I am. And if you have, to, you cannot go to a, a fuck that where if you cannot go anywhere because you have to fucking explain yourself to some fucking random bitch at home or some fucking bitch that's become your wife now for as many fucking years as I don't give a fuck. Okay, you stay home. You don't get to have experiences that I have. And that's the fucking truth. The truth is that you, you and I, we've decided what kind of life and what kind of experience we want. And I'm very clear on what I want and I have it. And to have experiences like this, you can't be like that. Okay? That shit gets you those experiences. You understand that? It's like the independent woman movement. <clears throat> Happiness, love, joy, Security, don't go together with an independent woman movement. If you're an independent woman, you could kiss that shit goodbye, bitch. Okay? 
They're not in the same fucking road, bitch. One goes this way, one goes that way. You can't go down this road and end up over on the other side. You can't. You end up where the fucking road goes. It goes to misery. What you have at the end of it is an independent woman. But who the fuck ever said that was a goal of women? Yeah, you can become an independent woman. Sure, you could achieve that goal. Congratulations. Why would you want to do that, though? Why, why would you want to do that? As a guy, I could become a fucking makeup artist. I could be better cheerleader than any bitch ever was. There's many things I can do better than a woman. But why in the fucking world would I want to do that so I can prove that, that I am also equal to her cheerleader? What the fuck kind of brainwashing activity have you all been involved with? Independent woman is this way. A happy, joyful, uh, secure, safe woman is on this side of the fucking picture. You dumbass. Not that side. So what I'm telling you is everybody that I'm looking around observing seems to have their feet in a bunch of different roads. And I'm just walking one road. You know what it's called? Stay in your, stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane, motherfucker. Stay in your lane, bitch. I tell people, stay in your lane. And they think I'm telling them to like get out. Of, look, I say stay, I stay, stay in your lane because I'm in my lane. You don't find me jumping in your lane. That's why I'm successful. I'm not trying to do your job. I'm doing my job. Now, when I say live the total spirit of play through this whole thing, I'm laughing and crying simultaneously. You know that laugh now, cry later, the, those masks, they're both in me. Simultaneously. At every moment of life, I look at this life and I'm laughing and crying at the same time. And this is true. I'm not, this is not, I'm not stating two separate conditions. Let me tell you why. At the same time, <clears throat> I see the joke. Because I do. I'm, I'm, obviously I do. I think if you know me, you know I see the joke of life. But then when I see people suffering because they miss the joke, I cry for that. Because those people are real to me. They are truly suffering. I've shed tears this morning already, twice, privately. Because someone I love is in pain. And it's a real pain. I wish I could take it away. I'm trying. I'm doing what I can. To the extent of my ability. I'm not withholding anything that I'm capable of giving. How's that? So I'm doing everything I can. And at the same time, I realize the, the stupidity of the world and the ridiculousness of a hundred life, a hundred year lifetime, whatever the fuck this tiny thing is. It's just so small. To try to live out a hundred years as a human is to talk about being a fly. As good as that. You, you, that is not a measurement of time. That's a measure of, measurement of a breath or something. Okay, what the fuck are you going to do in a hundred years? You, you know, you got to change your perspective on time. You think a hundred years, you know? You think a hundred years is a long time? That's when you start feeling old at 30. Shit, if a hundred years is a long time, 30 is a fucking third way uh, to a long time. And 50? You're halfway to fucking dead. It doesn't mean I'm not going to die at a hundred or 20 or whatever the fuck age I die. It doesn't matter. I'm saying that internal experience of time, that's what I teach. That's why you're my students. Because I live in a world outside the world, which is inside me. It's real though. You interact with me and my freedom and my power is because I'm speaking from my world, but I'm aware that we're meeting out here. So we went over last night in the camp, beast camp. I know I'm doing a video blog to a world who can't see what I am, what I am in my space. But I can give you hints and you I couldn't hide it if I tried. The moment I started speaking, you get a glimpse of my mind. That's what I'm selling. That's my, that's my crop. That's my fruit, right? That's my song as a bird. That's my venom as a poison, right? It's very unique. Now, <clears throat> by being around it, it triggers the same type of energy. Why? Because that's the law of energy. <clears throat> Is that when I speak, Two things are going to happen. One, everything that resonates with me shall begin to resonate with me. It's like a tuning fork. 
That's why people, when they listen to me, even these little video blogs, you don't know shit about me if you think you know these video blogs, nothing. Even on a video blog, you feel different when I'm done. And you're like, how the fuck do you do that? But you can't remember one thing I said. It's because I'm speaking away and in a way that will just hit that part of you that resonates with me. That's my ability. That's what I teach. That's my power. Nobody on the planet can do this thing the way I can do it. They can not even get near it the way I can get near it. It is my essence of being that's to be able to do this. I do it like you breathe. So now, when I do that, what happens? Inside of you, the same type of spirit awakens, or energy, or pattern, or neurons, or personality, and I don't care what you name it, as long as you understand that inside of you, there's a part of you that resonates like this. And through contact with me, whether it's video or in person or or holding hands or having sex or, or dialoguing on the phone, I don't, you see, any contact with me transfers this to the person. Because do you know that that's all communication is? It's a transference of energy and receiving the one. Like you just gotta understand what it is. So what I'm teaching you in these camps, we're going on tonight again. Okay, so tonight is uh, Tuesday. It would be... Oh, it would be... 7 o'clock. We'll go on tonight. 7 o'clock, yep. What I'm teaching you, like what we went over last night, was so magical for everybody. I'm showing you how to use this instrument. I, the I that's aware, me... I'm using an instrument called the mind. And I'm using it, just like you use your hands. And the way that you use this thing called the mind against others or with others or as a tool with the world is through communication. That's how you transfer your mind from one person to another. Now it's funny, sometimes girls think that if I'm intimate with them, it's because I had sex with them. No, that's physical intimacy. Yes, that's physical, that's physical intimacy. There's some girls I have sex with, there's some girls I just kiss, there's some girls I go out and hold their hands, I don't know. And there's some girls I don't fucking do anything with. So there's levels of physical intimacy. Yeah, we fucked, bitch, so what? That's as far as your body goes, that's Eminem. It's perfect, those lyrics are perfect. Bitch, we fucked, yeah, so what? That's as far as your body goes. To reach intimacy, you must reach into the heart and the mind. Unless you want the intimacy of a cockroach or a rat, because they fuck too. You get it? It's what's happening before you have sex. No, I don't mean the foreplay. Wrong. I mean the relationship. It's what happens after sex. I don't mean cleaning up and awkwardness of it. I mean the relationship. The sex is an inserted moment in this wave of relationship. And the intimacy is in the relationship. The sex is so that you can physically learn to drop the physical boundaries that you've already dropped mentally and emotionally. God damn, drop the mic, go and fucking take a shit on the yard just for fucking be a dog. Listen, that statement, if you rewind it and hear it again, because I'm not going to be able to find the words that way again. I can't, I just don't want to go there. That's the one. That's the one it tells you. It tells you a lot. It's not about sex. I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about the power that I hold to suddenly be in someone's fucking mind. To suddenly be in their heart. Welcome to what an IMC Nation warrior fighting monk is. Yes, we're monks. There's a reason. 
A monk is a monkey. A monkey is a monkey. The moon is the eye in the sky. The eye in the sky is what the symbol is for the Illuminati. The eye in the sky, the moon, is the Death Star that you saw in Star Wars. You're being looked at through the moon. That's why the moon affects people's emotions. Why does the moon control a woman's cycle? Why? Why does she sink with the moon? The bitch was made in the moon. That's why she worships the moon goddess. Wears silver. Man wears gold. Raw sun god. E-A-Z motherfucking D. Who you is, nigga? I is your daddy, bitch. Go to arajzapar.com. A-R-A-S-A-Z-E-P-A-R.com. Register for the Brotherhood of the Beast. That's the class I teach. And that's the least that you can do because I preach day after day and I reach so many minds that you can't touch. But that's okay because I've just said way too much. I am T-Nation. Be the best for the rest.